Hey, somebody call 911. It was an accident. We need to take this girl out of the car. She was stuck. I I'm okay, thanks. I c can't get out by myself. What just happened? You just crashed into the tree. I did? Where am I? Who are you? Come down, lady. Let's get out of the danger first. All right, you are safe now. Take a deep breath. Let's count from one to ten. Okay, that's right. Breathe in, breathe out. You may feel confused, fearful, and nervous right now, but it's normal. We can handle this situation. Thank you for helping me. Oh no, my new car! I'm still in debt from buying that car. Do you buy car insurance? Yes. Then you don't have to worry about that. The insurance company will take care of it. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about it. But who are you? I am the truck driver. I was driving in front of you. But it seemed like you were driving a little bit fast and you did not keep the safe distance. Yeah, I'm sorry. No problem, lady. Oh, the ambulance is here. Can you walk? Let me help you get in. Thanks. Excuse me, are you Marina Green? Yes, I am. Who is speaking? I am a nurse from UCLA Medical Center. I'm calling you to announce that your daughter has just been in a dangerous car crash. She's in the hospital right now. Pardon me? My daughter was in an accident? Is she okay? I will come to the hospital now. Which hospital you said again? UCLA Medical Center, ma'am. But you don't have to worry. She's fine now. Safe driving, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you so much. I will be right there in 30 more minutes. Excuse me, my daughter was taken here from a car crash. May I know where she is now? Yes, what's her name? Grace Fulton Green. She's 28 years old. Okay, she's in the accident and emergency department. Where should I go? You just need to go straight this way and turn left at the end of the hall. Thank you so much. Grace, my babe, are you okay? Hi, Mom. How do you know that I am here? Of course I know. The hospital has called me. What happened? I was upset after our argument, so I drove the car at a very high speed. When the light at the major intersection turned yellow, the truck in front of me decided to go through the light and then changed their minds right in the middle of the intersection. I hit my brake and turned the steering wheel at the same time. Luckily, I just crashed into the tree nearby. Nobody was hurt, but it was totally my fault. Oh, well, at least you are okay now. What did the doctor say? 
He said I had a minor injury to my legs. He asked me to take an x-ray. So, when will you do it? I don't know. They told me to wait here and rest. They will inform me when I need to move to the x-ray room. There are so many people in the hospital today. Yes, mom. It's kind of a bad day for everyone. How do you feel now, babe? Do you feel dizzy or want to vomit? No, mom. I'm fine. But it's kind of like a traumatizing event because I thought I was going to die. That thought really freaks me out. I was afraid that I would not see you for the last time. I'm sorry, mom. It's okay. Don't say that. I'm glad that you are not upset anymore. But who helped you to call the ambulance? That's what the truck driver. He did help me to get out of the car. Oh, that's good. Where is he now? Um, I don't know. He left when I got into the ambulance. So we have no chance to thank him. Mom, do you see the man and the kid over there? Yes, is that a husband? Why did he cry so loudly? He just lost his wife in a car accident. He was a driver and he was saved. But the miracle did not happen for his family. Oh dear, poor the man. I wish I could do something for him. Yeah, so do I. By the way, where is your car now, babe? I think the rescue engine team has taken it away already. It's where it had burned out. I'm so sad about that. No, Bay, don't be sad. I can buy you a new one. I don't think I can drive a car anymore. You will get over it. Is it not that bad, my darling? Hmm, did you call Tim? No, I didn't. Why not? I was afraid that you were not ready to see him in person. Will you let him know your situation? I don't know, Mom. Miss Crayfilton Green? Yes, I am. You need to get to the x-ray now. Please sit on the wheelchair. We will take you there. Thanks. Mom, please wait for me. I will be back. I don't want to be alone. Please stay here with me. Of course, Bay. I'm here for you all the time. Keep my phone. In case the car rescue team contacts me, you can pick up the call. Hello, I'm Chris's mother. Is it not convenient for her to talk right now? Oh, I am Kevin from the car rescue team. Can I talk to you about your daughter's car condition? Sure, I'm listening. The car has been through great damages and we don't think that we can help to recover it. If you wish to visit, you will need to send it back to the head company. I regret to inform you that it would cost a lot of money. That is a pity. I think I will buy her a new one. Thank you for letting me know. Sure. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, you are back. Is everything okay, honey? <sighs> yes, mom. The doctor said I just have a small crack in the ankle bone and it can heal by itself. Who would you to talk to? The car rescue team. They said your car cannot be fixed. Don't you worry. I will buy you a new one on your birthday. It's almost your birthday. Just one more week. Oh, thank you, Mom. I don't know what to do without you. I love you. I love you more.